Let's take a closer look at the panoramic view under the 3D tab. Make sure you're in the panoramic view by clicking on this first icon. Right under these views is the panorama tool. Click on that and you'll see the different curves available to you. First one is the automatically adjusted panoramic curve done for you by the reconstruction unit. And that creates this nice looking pano. You can see the panoramic curve already set on the bottom right. The second curve is based on the lower jaw. Notice where we are now looking at this red line in the 3D volume. When we click on this second button, it will adjust the panoramic curve based on the mandible. The third curve is based on the maxilla, and we can see that here in the 3D volume, the red line is on the maxillary ridge. The fourth button is a preset curve. When you click on this, go down to the axial view on the bottom right window and click on the anterior part of the view and it will drop in a preset curve. This curve can be moved around as needed and each dot can be adjusted. Make sure you're on the dot when you adjust the curve, just like that. You could do the other side as well. The last one is a curve that is customized by you. Let's click on this and you can see here you would have to drag and click along the jaw to create the panoramic curve that is displayed in the panor panoramic view in the top left window. When you're done, right click and that will end your session mapping out the panoramic curve. Each of these curves can be adjusted here by width and you can see the width change as I drag this tool left and right. You can also use the minus and the plus buttons to increase the width of that panoramic curve.